Hello, hello. Um, I just got finished watching Flash. And this movie, oh my god, this movie was so good. So, so good. And I didn't know that he can, what he called it, phase into walls. He can go through doors and stuff like that. And uh, I was like, Dad, because I used to watch the TV show, The Flash, but I had stopped watching it because it was kind of boring to me. So the movie was not boring. They went all out. When I say they went all out, he was in the present. Then he went back to try to stop uh, his mom from becoming killed. I mean, from his mom being killed. And Batman told him not to. Of course, he didn't listen. And um, he went back. And he only made things worse. And you're not supposed to talk to yourself or see yourself when you go back, you know, uh, back in the past or to another dimension. But um, this movie, oh, my God, this movie was so good. It was long, but it was so good. And I understand why it was long. And, um... They had Michael Keaton as the as the Batman for the past. I was like, I said, wait a minute. I recognize that voice, and I was so happy. And I also was so happy that Ben Affleck was the present Batman. I love him as Batman. I really think that that is his, his, his thing now, you know. But Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck, my two favorite um, Batmans. And also in the past, they had Christopher Reeve. I used to be, oh my God, everybody was so in love with Christopher Reed when he was alive. And, um, cause Superman was his thing. And, but I know it was computer generated because, or it could have been an actual clip from, it could have been an actual clip from when he was alive. It could have been that. So, um, I don't know. All I know is that it was so cool the way that they, the way that they did this movie and, with him going back in time, like I said, he messed up everything. So the guy that, that you know, that Mike, the guy that, that Michael Keaton, I'm saying that wrong, the, the, the Batman in the past, which turned out to be Michael Keaton, when they first showed him, he had like all this long hair, he had the beard and all this stuff and the mustache. And I said, who the hell is that? Because that's the same thing that Barry said, like, who the, who you say, who the fuck is that? So I was like, um, his face looked familiar, but you couldn't really see because of all the hair and the mustache and the beard. But once he cleaned up, I was like, I'm so happy. That's Michael Keaton from Beetlejuice, which was also a favorite of mine from, you know, watching his movies. But, um, I was like, I was so happy. Um, but his mom, oh, Captain Zod showed up. I said, hold up. Where the, where the hell that came from? And um, I said, maybe I should have watched the trailer first before I watched the actual movie. So um, Zod, General Zod was in there and his face was computer generated because I was like, oh, cool. They got the same, you know, the same General Zod. And then his first mate, same face. But then they was wearing the, uh, the, 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 the mask thing or whatever you want to call it because they can't breathe Earth's air. But um, it was basically the same thing that was in all the old Superman movies before uh, before they changed Kal-El. So Kyra, Kara, Kyra, um, she had black short hair. Uh, you know, she played Superman cousin. And then when they did the flip back, that's when they showed Christopher Reed with the blonde hair Kyra, so they got her different, you know, Kyra's and different color, uh, hair colors and stuff like that, so I was like, wow, so anyway, back to the movie, um, this movie was so, so nostalgic, so heart-wrenching, because at the end, when, because, uh, Kyra, she gets killed by Zod, right, and Zod takes her, uh, thing, because he, uh, General Zod told her that we killed your cousin Clark because we thought he had the DNA to restart Krypton. So, and then he said, well, we found out that it's inside of you. It wasn't in him. And she was like, well, what did you do to the baby? 
And um, he said, well, he didn't make it. So that's when she started going off and stuff. But it was two flashes that was trying to save the world along with her and uh, the old Batman, you know, the Michael Keaton. But um, Barry, the present Barry, like once he got his powers and stuff, you know, he ain't listened to the other, to the future Barry. So they kept going back trying to save Kara and trying to save Batman because they both got killed in the battle. So of course it didn't work. And the 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 fabric of time kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it was it was so like so sad towards the end because the whole point of him going back was to save his mom. And I can totally relate to that. If I could have saved my mom from dying from COPD and not from having, you know, Alzheimer's and then saving my sister, my baby sister, who also died from COPD. And I said, movies like that make you, they mess with your head because they make you think that this stuff is possible because these actors are so good and the people who write the strips are so good and they make you think that this stuff is possible. I don't think it's ever going to be possible, maybe a hundred years from now, but I know that the rich people want to live forever. They don't want to die because they don't want to let go of their money. So with that being said, are they in the process of trying to figure out how to get their conscience into like a robot or something? I don't know. But I know that people don't want to die, you know, and it was so heartbreaking seeing him over and over and over. And he was just tearing the, the dimensions and the fabric of time up trying to save his mom. And because they had blamed his dad for uh for um for killing her even though his dad wasn't even his dad wasn't even in the house you know his dad she had sent his dad to the store because she had forgot a, a can of spaghetti sauce for the spaghetti so it was so sad at the end i was like oh my god and then the then it turned out to be three berries because the third battery had, the third battery, he had like spikes and stuff coming all out of him, his head and stuff. And I was like, what the hell? So he finally took his mask off and we, you know, we saw that it was three berries, not two. So the third berry, which was technically the first one, he the one that was trying to stop them because he was like, you're trying to kill our mom. I'm trying to go back to save her. And he said, well, how long you been the, the, the future Barry? He was like, well, how long you been trying to save her? And he was like a long time. So it, it, it just broke my heart because I, I could totally relate to that. And I don't want to see nobody die, but unfortunately we all got to die. And some, you know, quicker than others if somebody kills us or something like that. But, um, they, the, 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 well, I don't want to call him the bad Barry, but the one with all the spikes and stuff, he was going to kill the future Barry. Well, I guess you could call him a bad guy then because he was going to kill the future Barry. And then the middle Barry, who was like in between the, the past and the, and the future, he stepped in and he saved Future Barry, so he died, and then Future Barry, I mean, the past it was so confusing. The past Barry, which was the bad one with all the spikes and stuff sticking out of him, he died, and then next thing you know, Barry was back in the present, and like they skipped a whole lot. I mean, it was very detailed up to then. But they skipped from like how did he how did he get out of all the dimension because all the worlds were like tri like like crashing into each other and don't forget this guess who the hell was Superman behind or before was he after Christopher Reeve? yeah I think he was after Christopher Reed because they was throwing throwing they were showing people in the different worlds and stuff and I said wait a minute. This dude looked like Nicolas Cage. And guess what? It was Nicolas Cage. I said, when the hell was Nicolas Cage ever Superman, period? And in this reality, you know, because I can pretty much name all the Supermans, but this dude, he ain't never been no daggone Superman. And he looked good, though. But And they made him look young, of course. But 
That was hilarious that Nicolas Cage was Superman. That was so funny. But he wasn't doing nothing. He was just standing there on a little, the, they had like all the worlds and, and it was like a, a, like a cubicle type of thing. So you could see people in there doing stuff, people sleeping, stuff like a prison thing, I guess. But he was just standing there and then Christopher Reed and the, the blonde hair Kara was just standing there. But anyway, um, Barry gets to court and he with the help of Batman, he uh, shows a clip of his dad face at the store because they couldn't get a clear picture of his face. So they were saying, oh, well, that's not him at the store. He's the one that killed his wife. So on the video, they saw they saw um, uh, uh, the, his, his dad face. So his dad got out of jail and then he was happy. Then Batman called him. And he was like, oh, I'm standing right here, you know, and, and Batman was like, I'm pulling up right now. And then Batman gets out of the car and guess who the hell it is? Freaking George Clooney. I was like, oh my God, here we go again. He going to have to go back <laughs> and fix stuff again. It's going to be like a never ending story. It really is. So, um, but it was, it was really good. Other than the sad part when he was facing his two other selves and, they was trying to save their mom, but other than that, it was that it was it was funny, and um, I couldn't take my eyes off of it except for the two times I had to get up to eat, and I just paused it because I was like, I don't want to miss nothing. But um, they're doing like a um, I don't know what this part is. Look like he's. Wait a minute, is that Aquaman? Oh my God, he's with. I... But it's in Spanish. Okay. All right. So at the, <laughs> the end of Flash, he's talking to Aquaman. So I don't know what they're talking about because it's in Spanish. So I don't know what happened to the movie because it just kept literally just kept rolling because they were showing the credits. So I thought it was over with. So I'm going to assume that it's going to be another Flash movie and probably this time, uh, um, the fish dude gonna be in there. So yeah, Aquaman. That that kind of threw me through a loop. But that's a good thing. But I'm gonna start watching the TV show again. I am because I I so enjoyed this dude. But the flash, I think he's short, like in real life. And they probably make him taller. I'm saying maybe five eight, five, seven, you know, around there. But I'm gonna Google it and see how tall he is. Cause I wanna know, you know. I wouldn't know, but I'm going to watch, uh, trans, trans, transformers. Yeah. I mean, transformers. Yeah. I'm about to watch that. Cause I think that is so cool with the, uh, mechanical apes. Of course it's all C CPG, but that's good. I still like it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this review and, um, hope y'all having a good day. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And don't forget to say hi in the comments.